Um, I recommend to grab your waters, um, room temperature water if possible. If not, it's all good. Cold water is fine too. On the water note, if you like taking uh, big gulps of water, take a big gulp now because um, once we start, if you do get, if you do need water, just like take little sips, just little sippy dips. For the rest of this session, just like just little little sips. It would be ideal if um, your earphones or you're not using earphones or headphones, just kind of like raw dog the audio fresh off of your device. Um, but if you are somewhere where you need to have earphones, that's totally fine. Uh, only reason is I, I want you to hear your voice when we are gonna, when we get to that part. What other prep preparation tips do I have? You're welcome to sit down, lie down, stand up, as long as you're, you know, you can be vertical, horizontal. Um, just make sure you're not like crossing your legs. So we have a clean kind of straight, um, line line of energy little straight road for energy to move through but you could be sitting standing lying down that's all good these are not mandatory <laughs> at all i i literally do this technique like randomly throughout my day as i'm existing and doing things too just very very soft soft suggestions that's all it's not gonna work any less effectively <laughs> this seems to be a throat chakra kind of focus today so if you are at home and if you have access to your blue any any kind of blue crystals go ahead and grab them hold them place them in front of you and my clock is at 11 15 so we can get started for those that can hear me um how's the distance too loud too soft am i good give me a thumbs up okay awesome uh all right we'll start with a kind of like a technique i call this relax your face <laughs> um but it's literally just like a body scan so we'll do a body scan first and then after that we'll do like a little chakra power wash um so <clears throat> ground into your position of choice uncross anything that needs uncrossing and you can breathe normally at your pace just make sure that you're not holding your breath so as long as you're breathing um just breathe at your normal pace and we'll go from we're gonna scan our vessel from head to toe so starting at the top maybe our forehead i wish i could hear ah oh, can someone tell them to like they can either exit and re-enter um or they can swipe swipe up and select speaker as audio output or they can right click on my icon and make sure that the app didn't like mute me or something like that yeah all right relax your face the forehead don't hold your breath just breathe at your regular pace we tend to tense up our forehead like 83 times a day and sometimes it stays that way so let's relax the forehead any creases crinkles wrinkles that we're holding let it go smoothen it out our eyebrows sometimes there's tension in there even our eyes when we close our eyes and try to get into a meditative state or when we're grounding sometimes we close our eyes too hard so it's just like lowering the gaze is is okay that's good enough if it takes too much energy to close your eyes the point is to relax your face so you don't have to like force your eyes shut lowering the gaze is okay and then the area um just on the outside of the eyes too sometimes we hold tension there so we can breathe into all of these areas at any pace at any length as long as it's helping you release the tension in those areas and then around the the cheeks and the jaw relax the jaw if you're biting or semi-biting i do that a lot so i gotta relax my face and relax the jaw you can give your tongue permission to release from the roof of your mouth as well and maybe the chin breathe into all these areas of your face just have them relax as much as possible and sometimes in practice in any guided practice i'll like notice that even though i did the scan that certain parts of my face keep going back to tensing up so i'll just check them multiple times throughout the practice be like oh there's my jaw again let me relax that again and then eventually like throughout my day and then throughout my week it'll become a uh, second nature to just have this like awareness this constant check-in then of course as we go down the neck we're gonna breathe into our shoulders doesn't have to be super 
deep, just any breathing pace that you're already at, but drop, drop these shoulders. This scan with the shoulders, breathing into them and dropping them, I probably have to check in like at least 12 times a day. I think a lot of us can relate the shoulders. <laughs> then we'll go down the arms before we go down the torso. I do recommend that if you are, if your palm is like default, like closed majority of the time, then just have them open for today's practice or in general. If your palms are default, always like open most of the time, then um, just like close them, but in a relaxed way. You don't have to ball them up in a fist, but just like uh, let them relax and your fingers can kind of release from holding themselves straight. If you're a default open palm person, relax them and allow your finger fingers to bend. If you're a default closed palm person, relax them and allow them to open. So depending where the default tends to go to, um, it's almost like a subconscious way of coping with tension. Just do the opposite of that and see how the contrast helps you through the day. And then we'll go through to the sacral area, the belly as well, just essentially the torso. For the longest time, I would notice that I never am fully relaxed when I sit or lay. So here, we can try to release the tension however we need to, whether that's shifting the hips, shifting the weight. If you need to uh, rest your back on a backrest so that you're not flexing your abs just to hold, hold yourself up, that's totally fine too. Whatever you need to do, however you need to breathe to relax the torso. And almost done with this tension scan. Um, reminder, uncross your knees, legs, ankles, just uncross them. I was one to always like scrunch up my toes for some reason. So I had, I've had to like check in and make sure that my feet and my toes are relaxed. And now, now for the most part they are. And that's, uh, that's our tension scan. Now we'll move into, um, the power wash, <laughs> what I call the chakra power wash, A222. Um, so with, with this tension scan, that was like a, you know, A to B like run through, but you have access to this tool at any part of the practice, at any part of your day, at any just any moment, any given time. Like it's just um, a really nice awareness. Like one example of how I use this is I'd be washing dishes and then for no reason, like, why is my face like mean mugging? So while I'm washing dishes, I'll just be like, all right, let's maybe not tense my jaw so much. Just an example of how you can access these. You can do a little tension scan throughout your day. And so that was breathing at your own pace. Now we'll do some collective um, breaths here together with the chakra power wash. So the breathing technique here is, no, wait, let me do one so I can explain it. Okay, so we'll take um, a super deep breath in through the nose, just as far as you can inhale in a relaxed manner. The it's, it's different from when we usually take as deep of a breath through our nose as possible to where a lot of tension starts to form in order for us to force in like and squeeze in like a little bit more. We don't want to reach that like uh, super tense like force. So just as deep as you can inhale with your nose um, while staying relaxed. And then you'll only hold for a moment, but it's not for a count. Um, it's just, you know, a pause, whatever, however short that pause needs to be. And then what the exhale is going to feel like is um, it's like a released, totally uncontrolled exhale. Like you're just going to let it like fall out, like burst out naturally. Since you took a really deep breath, it's going to um, feel like, hmm, how do I explain this? Like a, like it's going to be pretty fast. Um, it's going to be quick because it's it's trying to release your lungs are trying to empty themselves uh, out all at once. So you don't have to force it to be slow uh, on the inhale. It can be slow. And then on the exhale, just like release it, just like completely release it. Like when you plop on a couch and the couch makes a sound for all of the tension in that couch to be released because it's taken in your weight. Like when you jump on the couch or a bed or a pillow, the linens kind of make this very subtle sound and it goes 
kind of like that. So it just like, I don't know if you can hear the breathing or if it's noise canceling, but um, let me try to make as audible of a breathing example as that as I can. Oh, okay. It's almost like a sigh. That's how I can best. Yeah, you're going to like sigh it out without trying to control or slow down how the exhale is going to come out. So we'll just do this um, from chakras, but we'll go, we did the re uh, tension scan from top to bottom. Now we'll do this power wash from bottom to top. So if we just focus on the root, then we can take that inhale and breathe, breathe into the root and almost visualize the root upon the pause, like a super dark red. And on the exhale, it's almost like we're power washing it and it goes from the dark red to a bright red. So we'll have that visualization of just power washing with the breath from the bottom up. So we'll do it again with the root. Hit it, inhale, pause, and then sigh it out. Power wash that. Then we'll move on and up to, what is it, the sacral. So almost like a dark burnt orange that we can visualize there and breathe into it. A nice deep inhale. Not too much force, just a relaxed deep inhale. Then we'll pause at the top and then just let it all go. Power wash that dark orange and exhale so it's a nice bright orange. And one more going up to the solar plexus, I believe. We'll have um, a super dark, like burnt yellow. Breathe into the solar plexus, a nice relaxed inhale, a little pause at the top, and then a power wash exhale sigh. We'll power wash that chakra into a nice bright, shiny, gleamy glowing yellow then we got the heart be it pink or green for you or maybe both i don't know if any of you have seen inside out 2 where some of the memories are like duo colored now i like to picture that for the heart <laughs> so we'll breathe into it a nice relaxed deep inhale it's a little pause at the top and sigh exhale let it go power wash it into a nice bright green from a dark pink to a bright pink yes <laughs> and then the star of the day the throat chakra will do a very 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 dark blue almost like a midnight blue if we can maybe this one will give it a little extra love to prepare for today's practice so we'll breathe in through into our throat chakra we'll hold a little pause at the top and power wash it when you exhale let it get washed into Still a dark blue, but just clean. We just, the power wash is almost to like breathe and exhale out all the gunk in these. It's like a self Reiki, almost a self breath slash Reiki. Maybe we'll do it again for the throat, just for a little extra love to prime and prep it for today's practice. So inhale, deep, relaxed inhale into that blue throat chakra. Hold at the top, the tippity top, and then exhale power wash that now we have a clean bright blue throat chakra area what's next we have our third eye and this is a full circle back to the top of our practice relax your face just in case your forehead went back to holding some tension again this is a nice little check-in any tension there in the forehead in the eyes also a gentle reminder you don't have to Force your eyes closed. You can just lower your gaze so that there's no tension. Just all the little relax your face check-ins that we learned today. You can return to some of those right now. And here we'll imagine and visualize that nice, beautiful, super dark indigo color in our third eye chakra. As we focus and inhale, a deep relax. Inhale and just a little pause at the tippy top. And then power wash, exhale, release all the gunk and any stagnant energies. I'm finding myself almost picturing like a dark little thin like crust layer. And then when I power wash and exhale, it's like I'm like washing that off like a hose on maximum power. And then we'll go to the crown last but not least. So that nice beautiful purple and Whatever it may look like for you, I'm going to visualize and see that little like dark crust that's that's covering it, maybe blocking some of its light. And then we can focus our inhale, breathe deeply into the crown chakra, hold at the top and then power wash and exhale all of that stagnant energy 
Orin energies. Mm -hmm. It's always the crown that tingles for me. <laughs> Whew. All right. And that's what I call the power wash. <laughs> I just totally came up with that name uh, right literally like two seconds before our session started. So feel free to use that. You now have this tool in your pocket at any given time. It is yours to access. Um, and it's super quick and easy. If you ever feel tension or blockage or even just like an intense emotion, maybe a trauma that's taking resident somewhere in your body, you don't even have to do the full scan of power wash. You could just power wash with this type of breath um, just on that part of that chakra at any given moment, anytime. It is all yours. And we'll get into true voice. Reminder to take a little sippy sip of water if you have. I'll take some as well. Just a little check-in. Um, those were two completely improv guided exercises that I've never done before and I just came up with. So let me know how you're feeling, what you're feeling, where you're feeling. Do a little check-in in the chat. Pound chakra tingling. Anyone else feel tingling or even just relief? I felt the most relief in my like chest area. I tend to flex the chest area when I'm sitting or laying, which I have to catch myself and kind of power wash that. Tingles, relief, maybe cooling or warm sensations. How is the, um, we'll check in with the palms. How is it, did it feel weird doing the opposite of what your palms usually do if you're open to close or close to open? I'm trying to hold mine open. I always default like, fist them up tensed in the solar and heart yeah all right awesome we'll get into find your true voice so what is true voice this is not like as in like abstract like what is your real like true inner self like this is literal your true voice like what we sound like without all of these um controlled mechanisms it's like your most genuine quote-unquote like authentic voice which we hear a lot um in an abstract manner figurative manner and then me, I'm in marketing, so we also hear it from a communications manner, but it's just literally your true voice. And some examples of when your true voice comes out is when you're when you're sleeping, when you make noises or talk in your sleep, um, your body, your physical vessel is like in REM. So there's no there's no control mechanism that you're trying to put in place. Like you're not worried about volume, you're not worried about tone, you're not worried about pitch. Like you're asleep. So uh, when you make noises or when we when we talk in our sleep, we're we're speaking in our true voice. Um, another example is when we are either like sick or in pain or just complaining or trying to express like a discomfort, and we groan. The very very first pitch that the groan comes from. That's like a little snippet of our true voice. I'm trying to think of an example for me, like when I'm, <laughs> when I have, when I've had alcohol poisoning, the amount of times that I've had it and I'm groaning in pain from my abdomen because I'm just so tired of purging. I'll like groan and just be like, <laughs> but that first like little snippet, the first pitch before I forced any tone into it, that was my true voice. Another example is when we, honestly, when we use vocal fry, like when you talk like this, but you're not like over frying it, but you're just speaking from a more, almost like lazy, like you're too lazy to put any of those control mechanisms in place. The, the vocal tone and pitch that's accompanying the fry, that's also a little bit of your true voice. We'll get into it in a second. And the intention of this practice is so that you can equip yourself with this tool to use at any moment in time, however frequently you like. And as you practice it and incorporate it over time and it becomes habit or second nature, um, your speaking voice will slowly come closer and closer and closer to your true voice. And it's not really like the mission to speak in your true voice 24 seven. Um, and there's nothing wrong or incorrect with the way that we, with how many mechanisms and, and kind of force that we put into our talking voice. But it is just nice to have that return to true self, be it the voice or um, other ways 
and modalities that we learn in this community. But the contrast is like really mind blowing. I used to, the first time I did it, I was like, oh snap. Like it really snapped my awareness of how many things and tensions and factors and how much control I was putting into just talking. Um, And now I'm getting closer and closer to as relaxed of a talking voice as I can. But when I'm super excited, like Denny said, sometimes I have like golden retriever energy, but the golden retriever energy in my speaking voice is not my true voice. (laughs) So it's actually, it was actually a prerequisite that we did the power wash exercise. Most of us, when we were doing that breathing power wash type of like technique with our breathing, we were maybe doing it silently with no audible noise but with the true voice it's really simple it's basically the power wash breathing technique but we're gonna allow a very natural the most natural state of a little bit of like uh auditory a little bit of our voice to escape as well the same technique will take a very deep very relaxed um maybe even deeper since we want our voice to be able to release itself and push itself out. So slightly deeper than the power wash, but not so deep to where you're tensing up too much of your your body. So like a super deep but relaxed inhale and then just a pause at the top. And then um, what's going to happen when you pause at the top, just imagine you're like gathering, you're gathering some key, gathering some chi, not only from your um, throat chakra, but we're going to gather it from the throat chakra and all of the chakras downwards. So we have throat, heart, basically the whole torso. So we're just, when we pause at the top at, after that deep inhale, we're gathering the chi, almost like charging. Just visualize like some sort, whatever that looks like, uh, energy, light, orbs. Maybe what I'll do for my visual is I'll imagine the four, wait, one, two, three four, five, the five of those um, energy centers like forming into one big one, whatever works for you. And it won't be, so the inhale is as deep as you can, as long as you don't hold too much tension. And the same thing for the pause at the top. So you can pause for as long as you need to do that, have that visual and to feel all that chi gathering and forming, but not too long to where you start tensing tensing up too much and then at the release you're gonna do the same power wash like breath release and it's gonna be like 90% breath and then at the back end at the very like back end of that release some of your voice is gonna want to come out so almost like let it free let it release let it um escape and it's like a 10% voice and that will be the sound of your your true voice. So it's like do a maybe eighty to ninety percent breath at the ex- at the exhale, but power wash. So like a right. But then at the back end, allow. It's not worth. We're not creating. We're not forcing a voice to happen. We're allowing the voice to escape. So what an example of that at the exhale would be. Did you guys hear that, or did the noise cancel? <laughs> if you heard it. You see how deep that was, but totally uncontrolled. Let me do it again. Or you can do it with me and see how it sounds for you. So we're going to take an inhale through the nose, deeper than before, as deep as we can go while still being relaxed. Then a pause at the top, gather the chi in the torso, gather the energy. Let it exhale and allow the voice to come out on the back end. So how it sounds for me is... It's like a very subtle, like, sigh, audible sigh. It may or may not have noise canceled from my end, but let me know if you heard yours. It's almost like a super relieved, audible noise of relief, but very low. You might not even necessarily feel the vibration of it coming out uh, from your throat. You might even feel it in your chest or your belly. Let me know how it sounded for you if you heard anything. Yeah! Yes! It's a lot deeper. It's relaxed. Even in the way that I'm talking right now, I'm, you know, I, I'm kind of aware if I check in, I'm aware of how many control mechanisms I'm putting in to sound like uh, coherent or to sound clear, et cetera, et cetera. So it's like, it's so much deeper, mm-hmm. right? The contrast is insane. Like this is my talking voice. And then this is my true voice. I'm gonna do it right now. Like what? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like a 180 degree like flip. It's so crazy. It's a, such a high contrast. So really cool technique, really eye opening. And what it does is I think the purpose and intention is not like, oh, how I sound is wrong. And this is how I'm supposed to sound like let me make it my life's mission to sound like this. No, it's just like, oh, wow, that's something really interesting to be aware of. It's more like an expansion and building upon your awareness practice, just as it's in the same vein of gaining awareness on dropping the shoulders, um, dropping the jaw, relaxing our face. It's just like on that spectrum of awareness of the body, of the vessel. But I, do, I did notice that over time, like uh, maybe I would say, what, five years ago, my speaking voice was way more, I don't know, I annoyed myself. So I was like, wait, let me look into some vocal like things. What's, what's going on here? I feel like this isn't my true self. <laughs> <laughs> Typically, also when you wake up in the morning, your voice tends to be a lot more deeper as a vocal. Yes, exactly. Much more relaxed. Yeah, yeah. Maybe there's a reason why we're always like we're so attracted to people's sleepy voice or waking up voice, or there's something magnetic about that. Energetically, I think it's magnetic because it's authentic. Like there's no layers of control there's no like vocal masking if you will mm -hmm. yeah so i'll tap into this multiple times in my day now maybe like at least a dozen i'll do a few more with you maybe let's do like three in a row so we can really oh and this time now that we're aware we can observe observe the sensations observe the sound so we'll do three together. All right, deep inhale, relax, inhale, hold at the top, gather that energy in the torso. Exhale, let it go with an audible sigh. Ooh. A couple more times, last one together, inhale. There's also something really healing about the vibration of our true voice. Like if I could hold that true voice sound for maybe like a good seven seconds, its vibration is just so like cleansing and healing to me. I don't know about you guys. How does it how does it feel for you guys? Let me do a little check in in the chat. And also, what area of your torso do you feel it coming from the most? For me, it's almost like in between my solar um, and sacral, a little bit like in between, almost like the bottom half of my ribs. Maybe that's why the vibration feels so healing to me because the ribs and the density of the ribs is like carrying that resonance. Yes, it's such an abstract explanation, but I'm glad you guys know what I mean. <laughs> like I'm not a kinesiologist or biologist. So this is like, this is the best explanation I can give you. It is abstract. I'm also a Gemini, hence the very figurative explanations, but I'm grateful. I'm grateful we're all at least tuned into the same frequency and you get you get the you get what I'm trying to say. You you picking up what I'm putting down. <laughs> oh, in the heart area, oh, upper chest, usually tight but soothing to hear. Mm. And I would say as you practice this more and more, eventually, um, the next, you know how in yoga, there's like easy, medium, difficult, or level one, two, three, whatever. With this true voice breath technique, um, eventually, whenever you feel called, you can almost combine it with the power wash. So you can do the chakra scan power wash practice, but at each power wash, at each energy level, you can let, let out like an audible exhale. We did it maybe silently for the most of us when we were doing the power wash together. But when you combine it with the true voice technique, it's almost like you're expanding upon where it's most comfortable, maybe where the true voice lives resident. And then you can like almost like, uh, yeah, expand it, grow it a little bit. Nurture, there you go. Nurture the true voice to start getting used to releasing itself from out of its comfort zone. Some of us, the it's the true voice's comfort zone was maybe in the chest, but it's a really, it's really, really fun when you do the power wash and true voice combined. It's almost similar to um, breathwork teachers, where they teach you how to breathe from like every part of your body, all the way down from breathing from your root. So it's like a similar, similar framework for the combining the true voice technique and the power wash breathing. But that yeah that is it that is all um let me know how it feels 
and yep that <laughs> but uh hooray my first teaching um ever you're welcome to share your experience we can hang out on stage for a little bit you're if you want to raise your hand if not um i'll just be catching up with the chat right here ah you're welcome actually yeah who if, if you're um if you're down to come on stage i want to hear what the contrast was maybe we can since I'll get to hear your speaking voice and then you can kind of share with us like how much deeper was your true voice. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Shesty888. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. I'll throw some emojis. All right. Someone volunteers tribute. I want to hear. I want to hear your your recap, your experience, your testimonial. <laughs> Raise your hand. Pick someone to volunteer as tribute. <laughs> You're actually, do we have a raise hand option in this stage? I think we do. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Yes, let's go. Hey, thank you for being here. Girl, thank you for hosting the class. It was so, oh my gosh, it's cool. I used to pour a minute. I used to always, but what I would do is actually just letting it flow out. I would try to have it controlled and it would just like, ugh, it would be real intense. I'm just letting it out. It's so much better. Right? Like sometimes when I put too much control on the exhale, uh, parts of me will be kind of like shaking or quivering because mm -hmm. the breath. The breath is like, wait, just let me out already. Just let me out already. <laughs> yes, but, I, bro, I literally felt that. But I kept doing that because I felt like maybe I was making progress and I just need more time. But I feel like this would be a better alternative course for myself to slow down. Yeah, I love that. Honestly, sometimes I don't even listen to the, um, like when I'm in like a yoga or guided meditation or something. Or, some, or something um, if it is causing too much tension for me to force it to be too slow, then I, I just intuitively listen to my vessel and I just let it escape. Even though everyone is, everyone might still be following the guide and exhaling slowly. But if it's, if it's going to cause tension, that's not going to serve me in that moment. I just trust my body and let it escape. Mm -hmm. Right on. Yeah, but that's awesome. Like shout out to your awareness and, and observation. Yeah, shout out to you too, girl. This is great. And how, yeah like it's it's so crazy how much deeper the true voice is i'm always curious like damn that many octaves like she so uh, um how was it for you when you heard how deep it was it was very familiar because there seems to be i used to talk like how i talk like in my true voice but when i heard i was like dang i haven't talked like that in a minute oh that's so interesting it's like maybe once upon a time that was you were speaking at that and then like the return to it the hearing it again after a while what a realization like damn where have i been <laughs> that's what i'm saying but now this is i don't feel like this out of all the breathing decisions i do i feel like this is when i feel like i consistently come back yeah i don't even think about it anymore um i just i just find myself doing it like on downtime you know when i'm not focusing on anything in particular i'll just be like oh Ooh, yeah. It feels good. It feels so cleansing. Like the vibrate. It's like a it's like a sound healing, but from inside that we have access to. <laughs> that was such a good comparison. I was gonna say facts. Like when I say it was so peaceful, I really too really, really peaceful. Yeah. Perrin says same. They also used to talk like that when they were younger. Oh. Now I'm curious if I ever did. Damn. Maybe once upon a time, maybe in the jungle, talking to the trees and the chickens. Cause there's like they don't care. <laughs> They don't care about my pitch. They don't care about my tone. They don't care about my volume. They can feel my energy. They know what I'm trying to say, you know? <laughs> well, awesome. Thanks for coming on and sharing your experience. And I'm excited for how it's going to feel when you return to this practice moving forward. I'll probably post again for the folks that wanted to come and couldn't uh, at a different time. But I think it's a nice, like, check-in reminder. So, um I think I'll host this like a few more times. Yeah. I think that's a marvelous idea. She should keep up the good work. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good rest of your Friday. You too. <laughs> I was supposed to take you. I, I left the stage. Rainwater says, yes, please. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down. I'm down. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm, I'm feeling a little lonely up here. So I'm probably going to hop into one of the, the, the planets, one of the planets, the VCs. Which planet do you think is most 
Hmm, I'm trying to choose. What is what is the most related to True Voice? Or like, which one's a blue? What's a blue planet? Sirius B? <laughs> Anyways, thank you everybody for um, being, joining me. My first class ever. I think the most I've ever hosted was like four people. And it was just like a, some sort of guided visual meditation for like manifestation purposes but thank you everybody have a beautiful weekend um whoever comes to tomorrow's class i think with ski is, is it a is, is tomorrow the breathwork day yeah i'll catch you there actually this would complement ski's breathing oh i should keep these on fridays then so it like we have the back-to-back -back, like voice and breathing because it's very complimentary all right thank you everybody i'll close this stage but i'll i'll find one of the planets to hang out in if if y'all want to stick around Thank you. Much love. I love you all. And I'll catch you soon. Bye.